So the next question I have for you, um, in one of your Facebook posts, you had given the following tip after a successful Ramadan fundraising campaign. And it was remind and encourage, remind and encourage, remind and encourage. But be gentle, hostage taking and pressuring doesn't work online. I would love to hear why you said this. Um, it's, I, I, I was so excited that you said this in general uh, when Hassan told me about it, but I, I'd love to hear from you what, what the purpose of this statement was. Well, this was specifically directed towards, um, you know, organizations that are, especially mosques, uh, that are used to doing fundraisers on, you know, the 27th night of Ramadan, the 29th night, uh, mm -hmm. organizations as well that are used to bringing people in, you know, for a dinner, uh, and then essentially holding them hostage. And this is something that we often, you know, hear people complaining about uh, online, especially, um, you know, on social media, and it really shouldn't be that way. Uh, now, what's interesting is that you know, this year, because of the pandemic and the restrictions, um, most organizations, uh, I think pretty much all organizations, were not able to do that. So no organization was able to hold anyone hostage. But what they thought of doing was replicating that online. Mm. And guess what? It doesn't work online, right? Because uh, when people are watching, you know, a live stream, um, first of all, you know, there, there are fewer incentives to bring them onto that live stream. Um, you know, so, um, you know, they're not coming for prayers. Uh, onto your, you know, video stream. They're not coming for a dinner or for some sort of entertainment or socialization. So the, first of all, it's, it's just really hard to bring them in. But then guess what? Once you start building the pressure, um, they don't feel pressured because they can just close the window and they can just browse away. So, you know, this, this whole, you know, approach, first of all, I, I don't agree with, even in person. It, it's, it's not very pleasant. Uh, it puts a lot of negative pressure on people. Um, and it's just a, a really bad way of, 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 of getting support. Uh, out of people, but also when it comes to the internet, that's all you can do, meaning you can uh, remind and you can encourage, that's, uh, that's all really what you can do, um, as opposed to holding people uh, hostage. So, you know, it's, it's a bad idea to hold people hostage anytime, uh, but especially in Ramadan or especially, you know, when they're there to support your cause or when you feel like, you know, you can convince them um, and it's especially, especially bad to try to do it online. So, you know, it, it, uh, you know I always try to encourage a, a promote a positive approach to fundraising, which is based upon respect for the donor, uh, yep. which is based upon, you know, uh, of doing your mission well and then communicating it well so that people who support your organization do it because they want to, not because you're, you know, pretty much, you know, uh, you know, almost putting a gun to their head uh, right. and forcing them uh, or, you know, giving them a guilt trip um, and, and, and getting the funds out of them in that way. Yeah. And honestly, um, I 100% I, I agree. And, and, we also have to think that if we have to pressure anyone um, to stay in a room, or if we have to hold someone hostage or um, be aggressive in our ask, then we're not communicating the mission purposefully. Like we're not communicating in an appropriate way. And that's, there um, is an opportunity for us to kind of reflect on how we're communicating and then come back um, in a more respectful way um, because it is, it is um, a, a graceful, thing uh to fundraise appropriately so yeah i 100 percent agree with you 